All right, in today's video, we are going to be replacing the upper control arm on the rear uh, on both sides of this 91 Honda Accord. It's a very simple job. Um, we'll get into it here. You'll see that there's a bolt right here that you'll have to take out. We'll take this little cap out, and you'll be able to get to the nut on the bottom side right here for the ball joint, and we'll pop that out. Then right inside here, there's a uh, bolt there and a bolt right here so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that and show you how easy it is to do all right so we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to get this nut uh, this bolt out right here get the cap off so we can get to the nut on the bottom side here for the ball joint it's gonna be using a regular old Harbor Freight ratchet uh, I really like these guys because they're extendable and uh, when you're trying to get good leverage on something, uh, these work absolutely great. Alright, now we'll take our pair of pliers. Take this clip out right here. This one's pretty rusty. So, that's what I was afraid of. That's all right. So we're just gonna have to twist it off. Luckily, we won't have to worry about it too much because we're replacing this whole thing. So we're not worried about damaging it. All right, now we take a 17 millimeter here. All right, now we'll just take a hammer here. We'll just hit the bottom side of this bolt with it. Uh, we're not worried about damaging it because we're replacing it with all brand new parts. If you were going to be uh, reinstalling the, the one that's already on there, you could come on the back side here, tap it real gently, or even take the nut and stick back on here and you could tap on it. But today we're not doing any of that because the whole thing's being replaced. All right, now that I have these off, I want to show you guys some of the importance of why um, why you want to replace these. So this is the one that we just took off right here. And when you take this off, if you can get any flex out of it with just your fingers alone, that means it's bad. Think about what your car is doing to it. When you go down the road and you're tilting back and forth and going around corners and just backing out of the driveway, if it can flex that much with just your fingers, that means there's a lot of flex whenever you actually have it hooked up to the vehicle and you're driving. Same thing down here. That is worn out. Now, I've seen these a lot worse before. Um... Especially like on the front, they were completely shot. So this one, in all entirety, no, it's not horrible, but 
it is clearly worn out. So we'll take the new one here. And I'll show you. It's literally solid as a rock. And so is this down here. And that's what we want. Uh, for reliability, for safety, for just driving down the road, cornering. Uh, it's important to make sure that all your suspension components are good and tight. So we're going to reinstall this one. And I'll show you the reinstallation process. It's the same thing, basically, just in reverse. as taking the old one out. So let's get this taken care of. And we're going to go take this car for a drive. Now remember guys, it's always important to put these carter pins back in. It's always very important to do so. All right, there you have it, guys. Got this new upper rear control arm put in. Uh, we got the Carter pin put in. Everything's tightened down. Now I just got to put the little cap back on it, and that's that. Um, like I said, it's a very simple project. Uh, if you have the tools and all that, you can get it jacked up, get the tire off. You can literally change this out in probably 15 minutes. It's super easy to do, guys. Alright guys, so there you have it. That's how you change out the rear upper control arm on a 91 Honda Accord. Always make sure to stay up to date 
with all of your suspension parts, um, steering, um, struts, shocks, your linkages, um, sway bars, ball joints, uh, even your brakes, rotors, um, and hubs. Okay, always stay up to date with that stuff. Look at it, check it out, and make sure that it's all okay. And if it's not, replace it because it makes a world of difference not only in just how your vehicle drives. But it also makes a difference on safety and we want to make sure that we stay safe and i want all you guys to stay safe as well so if you like this video please drop a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe so you always stay up to date with all the new videos i'll be posting again this was a 91 honda accord and it will be the same from 90 through 93 so stay safe guys and i'll see you next time